Cleo, everything that moves will be robotic someday, and it will be soon. Mm. How do you see people actually interacting with this technology in the near future? You know, the, the idea that we'll be pushing around a lawnmower is already kind of silly. You know, it, it, maybe people do it because, because it's fun, but, but there's no need to. And, and um, uh, every car is going to be robotic. Human or robots, uh, the technology necessary to make it possible uh, is just around the corner. And so everything that moves will be robotic. And they'll, they'll learn how to be a robot in omniverse cosmos and will generate all these plausible, physically plausible futures. And the, the robots will learn from them. And then they'll come into the physical world and, you know, it's exactly the same. A future where um, well, you're just surrounded by robots is for certain. And I'm just excited about having my own R2-D2. And of course, R2-D2 wouldn't be quite the can that it is and roll roll around. It'll be, a, you know, R2-D2. <laughs> yeah. It'll probably be a, a different uh, physical embodiment, um, but it's always R2. You know, so my R2 is going to go around with me. Sometimes it's in my smart glasses. Oh, sometimes it's in my phone. Sometimes it's in my PC. Um, it's in my car. So R2 is with me all the time, including, you know, when I get home, you know, where I left a, a physical version of R2 and, you know, whatever whatever that version happens to be, you know, we'll, we'll uh, interact with R2. And, and so I, I think the idea that we'll have our own R2-D2 for our entire life and it grows up with us, um, that's a certainty now. Yeah.